Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Dietz and Watson. They've provided a plethora of meats and cheeses for today's episode. Let's see what kind of sandwich we can make. Let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Five, sourdough. Sourdough just keeps coming back. And as usual, sourdough is much better toasted, so we're gonna use our toasting can trip to sort that out. Now that we've got that taken care of, we've got a nice base for our sandwich. Let's hope the rest is just as good. Moving on to our roll for main. Four, kielbasa. Technically, kielbasa refers to any type of sausage from Poland. But typically in the US, when we think of kielbasa, we think of this sausage known as wieska or farmhouse sausage in Poland. This is a smoked pork sausage flavored with marjoram and garlic. Honestly, I've never been a huge fan of kielbasa. It's something about the specific smoky flavor that it has that it's just not my favorite. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Two, cranberry goat cheese. This soft, spreadable goat cheese encased in dried cranberries is delicious. The cranberries tartness and slight bitterness is a perfect pairing with the tangy goat cheese. Now, whether or not it'll be a perfect pairing with kielbasa is another matter. This cheese does have a lot of flavor, so I could see it being the standout of what we have so far. Okay, let's roll our roughage. One, fermented green mustard and four, sea stag. All right, it's time to add our canned pigeon. Just kidding, just checking to see if you're paying attention. These are fermented mustard greens from Thailand. They are soaked in a solution that is largely soy sauce with some other seasonings. They're not bad. They kind of taste like a mixture between bamboo and water chestnuts, which I'm not a huge fan of water chestnuts, but you know, think stir fry. This sea stag is a turmeric and seaweed sauerkraut that I think will actually complement the sausage really well. I mean, you typically eat Polish sausage and sauerkraut together, just not this specific type of sauerkraut. But in general, pickled vegetables and sausage go well together. All right, let's get wild with our wild magic roll. 12, finishing salt. All right, we're just gonna add some nice flaky salt on top here. Give it a nice crunch make it all fancy that'll be five hundred dollars and last but not least it's the d20 sauce roll here we go 15 pad thai sauce all right we're gonna add some of this pad thai sauce with tamarind i think it should pair really well with all of our roughage it's interesting we kind of ended up with an asian polish fusion the sauce and the mustard greens both from thailand all right let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Not the worst looking I've ever seen. Well, even though the sausage isn't my favorite, I still think this sandwich has a lot of potential. Definitely an interesting combo. Let's taste it. Yeah, this is definitely interesting. I was worried that the goat cheese might clash with some of the roughage and sauces, but that actually works better than I was expecting. Got this sweet and sour, tangy combination, but the kielbasa shines through in ways that I kind of wish it didn't. Again, I don't hate it, but it clashes a bit for me. I think today I'm at about a 6.7, and I'm gonna call this one the Krakow Pigeon. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again on Friday.